What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. Let's get them. But before we do that, algorithm, like, subscribe, you know the drill. First today, I've been getting sent this a lot. It's another video from Lewis Hose. Apparently he's had Dr. Gundry back on his show. It's been a while since we've had a Gundry video. He's been kind of quiet. So for that, Lewis, we thank you. Let's see what Dr. Gundry has to say. What would you say are some of the worst foods that people often eat like on a daily basis that we should start eliminating or avoiding? Well, don't get me started because, you know, um, <laughs> you've got to gotta get rid I of major get... lectin-containing oh foods God, in your lectins. life. Lectins like gluten can attach Look at Lewis. to He's the like... wall of our gut and kind of flip a switch and flip produce switch. leaky gut. You wouldn't believe the number of people who have leaky gut have antibodies like they've been vaccinated against the various forms of wheat. And gluten is just one of the lectins in wheat. There's plenty more. Yeah, this is this guy's whole thing. You gotta get lectins out of your diet. They're the cause of weight gain and fatigue and all these other nebulous symptoms. People that have actual inflammatory GI disorders, like celiac, actual inflammatory response to gluten. So these people should avoid gluten. The symptom of that is typically weight loss, actually quite a bit of weight loss, because when you have inflammation of the GI, you have atrophy of the villi, and they are at a reduced capacity to absorb nutrients, and therefore you actually have tissue wasting. You don't just spontaneously gain weight. But people like Gundry love to convince you that if you could just cut out lectins, you would start experiencing weight loss and feel better. No, 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 it's not the lectins, no. Now, if you cut calories, sure, you'll experience weight loss and feel better. And this whole idea that there's non-celiac gluten sensitivity or quote unquote leaky gut, it has been proposed by some people. And as of now, there's very little evidence to support it. I will say there's been some review papers that have kind of come up with tenuous mechanisms as support for it. But honestly, to make the claims he's claiming, based on what data, Steve, I'm not gonna call you Dr. Gundry, you're Steve. Based on what data, Steve? Like where, where is this data of people who have antibodies like they've been vaccinated against gluten? Well, I know, I just did a PhD in nutrition. I mean, I'm not a physician like Gundry. Based on his limited understanding of nutrition and basic physiology, I wouldn't let him work on my family. I can tell you that. Some of these physicians aren't very good at their jobs or they realize that their jobs only allows them to make a limited amount of money. Now they make good livings, but not as much as they might want. What they've realized is when you spout BS to masses of people and write books about BS to masses of people, you can scale BS and you can scale your income. Because unfortunately, when you have DR in front of your name, or if you're just super jacked, people will believe anything you say. I have seen several videos of Gundry and his name is about the most coherent thing he's ever said. Anything else that has to do with nutrition or science, he might be the most incoherent person on the planet. He does not understand nutrition. He does not understand basic physiology. And if he does, then that's even more disturbing. I'm glad we did a, a Steve video. It's been a while since we've had Steve on the show. Thanks, Steve. Lewis, always happy to come on your show and actually put in some facts, which I don't think you're ready for. But hey, everybody's got their own thing. All right, guys, if you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you next week.